Hey everybody, it's Amy Dickinson Campbell. This is the Space Weather Report for the 18th of July, guys. All right, so solar winds are blowing at 537 kilometers a second, and we have extreme solar weather going on. Um, it looks like we've got, the. this is a major explosion on the sun has been updated. Um, an M6 class explosion basically hit uh, very early hours, um, just recently within the last hour or so. Um, so the 18th, you can expect some severe stuff going on um, because it's hit the tail end of the 17th in the United States and the, in the UTC time, it's already the 18th. All right. So uh, neutron count is 2.1% below the maximum. That hasn't changed. It's staying pretty stat or it's 2.4% below the maximum. So it's still staying pretty steady. The 50% uh, chance, increased chance of M-class flares next 24 to 48 hours. That's still up and 20% increased chance of X class flares. So that's gone up from the, the 10 that it was. So there's, there's that, uh, geomagnetic activity is about 35% in the, in the mid lats, uh, and a severe 50% in the next 24 hours at the poles. So the geomagnetic activity causes all kinds of issues too. So <laughs> you might feel headachey, you know, it might feel out of sorts. And then of course, with the, with the severe CMEs that fries all kinds of stuff. So if it hits Wherever it hits, that's earth facing. If it hits us directly, it can cause all kinds of problems. All right, so hydrate, stay shaded, look out for your plants, your animals, your elderly, and your infirmed, and each other. Make sure that uh, if you don't need stuff, just unplug it. And if you do need it, use your surge suppressors. That is so, so helpful in this time of super uh, intense solar activity. Like we don't need things frying. If we can prevent the frying, that's a good thing. All right. And uh, and if you're feeling out of sorts, keep lots of hydration on hand. And like with me, I can't be out in the sun too much or I get really, really, really kind of lightheaded and sick to my stomach. And so I need um, orange juice. It's the low-acting sugars. So I like orange juice and I'll crave it actually. Um, and I'll get real dizzy if I don't have it. So it's just, it's those slow acting sugars do help to keep you mitigated, but also protect your skin because, you know, upticks in skin cancer with this extreme UV. I had one lady ask me a while back, um, is it even safe to go outside? Yes. Just minimize your time as much as you can out in the direct sunlight. Today I drove by a, a herd of cattle and they were all under the shade. I mean, there's only one little tree for them, but they were huddled over there out of the, even they know to get out of the sun. So... If, a, if you can create shade structures for them, do that because it's really super important that they have a chance to get away. All right, guys, I'll see you again on Wednesday. Can you believe it's already Tuesday, the 18th? And I'll see you guys on the 19th. Have a great one. Bye.